He is a person who puts God first and his family second. We need someone in office who will represent law and order and someone who will put God first. I am telling you though, this is no longer just about tax rates. That is not what this election about is about anymore. This is about taking our country back. This is about canceling the cancel culture. But when Lauren Underwood started voting like a radical socialist, I decided I have to try to do something about that. She, I want to defend the police, she wants to defund the police. And right? So Todd though, so think, think of the heat he takes in the city of Chicago by staying up for what he believes in. We gotta have more people like this, so we gotta support, support this. I'm a, I've been a White Sox fan all my life, but I, I got to lean towards the Cubs nowadays because this, this is heroic. So next up is Todd Ricketts. Thanks a lot, Gary. Thanks a lot. Thanks for everybody for being here today. It's an important time to be part of it. And, I, and, I, and we do take a little bit of heat for being politically active and owning the Chicago Cubs. But I'm also on the, the board of the World War II Museum in New Orleans. And uh, another guy who's on that board, who's a World War II veteran, who was a, a bombardier in a B-17, he said to me once, well, you know, they only shoot at you when you're over the target. And so I take that heat, and I take that as a, as a, a, a badge of honor to say that every time we, we take flack for, for our political beliefs, it means we're over the target, so we're taking that shot. Um, encourage you that there is a red wave rising in Illinois. That Trump and Pence make sense for America. President Trump is right for America. Not the Democrats and their nonsense. I've seen firsthand what they can do to a city, to a town, to a neighborhood, to a community. And I say to my leftist persons that are still on the other side of the fence, leave the left and their destructive leftist liberal lunacy delusional policies behind. The first place we get it started, though, we get it started in Congress, right? You got to get people in Congress that are capable of changing things. Self, think about the selfless, courageous leaders, right? Don't take a pension. They're not in it for their, themselves. We have to identify these type of people every time we vote, right? Every time we vote. If they're not selfless. They're taking a pension. We don't want them. If they haven't led something in their life, we don't want them. Don't care how, what color they are, what age they are, doesn't matter, right? Selfless, courageous leadership is what we're going to build this Illinois, the new Republican Party, and I need all your help. How many of you guys saw the uh, national, the Republican convention this past week? Right? I have a big uh, secret to tell you guys. We are going to dominate the Hispanic vote. We are going to dominate the African American vote. Because we are sick and tired of being taken advantage by the Democrats. Right? And when we got to Kenosha, what I saw was something I never thought that I would experience seeing in the United States of America. You went from getting off the highway to seeing things that look relatively normal to all of a sudden it's just boarded up buildings and shells of what was once someone's hopes and dreams. Their, their businesses, their homes, their livelihoods was rubble under your feet and it was it was an experience that I will never forget the rest of my life. And seeing the officers there and federal agents that they don't know. If I hadn't had this shirt on, 
I, the, every time you turn, the, the distrust of not knowing is this someone who's going to try to take my life simply for trying to serve and protect theirs. So it's great to have everybody out here uh, for this People Who Play By The Rules rally. Yeah. Because that's what, that's what the Trump phenomenon is about. That's what uh, Trump's presidency has been about. That's what his candidacy was about in 2016. And that's what it is in 2020. It's bigger than the Republican Party, which is great. Because it's redefining the Republican Party to bring in a bunch of people who should have been Republicans for a long time, who were jettisoned by the Democrat Party. They just didn't realize it up until 2016 when somebody provided the contrast the way that President Trump did. People who play by the rules and who have been fleeced by a government they finance at every level. And they're tired of it. And they were tired of it in Ohio and Michigan and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. And they brought a revolution to restore the rule of law, to restore the idea that people who have skin in the game in this country deserve the respect of the government they finance. President Trump has a very simple value proposition and share it with your friends to, bar, to build off what Todd Ricketts was saying. Every one of you here is not just a rally goer, you're a Trump campaign ambassador. I am a, I grew up in Illinois. I love this great, great state. Uh, I moved out of it 30 years ago when the politics started going blue. But I want to tell you, um, first of all, who knew there were so many conservatives in the state of Illinois? Give yourself a hand. We are going to make quite a mess of Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time in America to stand and be counted. Our country's under siege. We're at war with each other. Our cities are on fire. It really is going to be a battle between good and evil, the evil forces of the left that are trying to replace this great republic, the system of capitalism with the socialist system. And they're going to do it come hell or high water. They're going to use tactics of intimidation and fear they're going to cheat at elections. They'll lie, cheat, and steal to, to win an election. They've made it very clear. 